rumor has it. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. Want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sara to come with me. You sh Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.
This leather-bound volume of prayers seems to be from the late 16th century. It's in remarkable condition. This describes something nearby. I swim with a turtle, seen only by those who let fear fall away. All full up, can't carry any more. Impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more.
This pendant is decorated in the Incan tradition, but the effigy clearly appears to be an Aztec warrior. That shouldn't be possible. Several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive, but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings, I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the journal of Beltran, Ordinius Predicatorum. Didn't think these places would be trapped. Caught a spear through the abdomen. Hurts to breathe. Pray for me. Oh God, what is that smell? Be a path underwater. Maya God is very dark brown, almost black, with black rimmed eyes and facial features that seem to be melting at their extremities. This can only be Exua. He's the patron god of the cacao bean, which accounts for his coloring. Also, because ancient Mesoamericans used those beans as currency, Exua became by extension a god of merchants and of trade. Interestingly, when he first appeared in the lore, he was a god of conflict. There's something blocking the aqueduct up there. Is this supposed to be one of the beheaded gods of the underworld?
to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. can use a spigot to change the water's level. I'll need to turn the spigot to fill the bucket and lower the water level. I am Truilo Serrano, 
And these are likely the last words I write. Andreas Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz, as he has called himself these last years, has finally and fully gone insane. His demands have grown, becoming more grueling and grotesque as we labor to build his crypt. The construction is almost complete. I know I will die when it is done, Lopez in a brief moment of clarity told me himself. Damn that box. Damn what it has done to the man I once, and sadly still, admire. I'll need to turn the spigot to fill the bucket and lower the water level. All full up, can't carry any more. When storms crash and rivers swell, direct the waters to quench the thirst of the gods who toil above and below. as an adult's knee and wear traditional Maya clothing. They are created whenever a farmer builds a little house on his property for them, after which they'll help the corn grow for a period of seven years, making it rain and chasing off predators. They're usually invisible, and in spite of their benefit to the land, they like to play tricks on or frighten humans. Don't call one by name, or you'll summon it from its home, and it won't be happy with you. Now to get out of this horrid smelling place. I should be close now.
All full up. Can't carry any more. I can't carry any more.
Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings. They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. All full up. Can't carry any more. Come see what I have to trade. Everything How is, is for everything? sale. Except Remax drum. Enjoy it. Hmm. Good deal. Enjoy it. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Good luck, Lara. Come see what I have to trade. 